Today, we're gonna to show you the easy steps on how to fit up a mini tool. Hey, I'm Mark from Attach2. Today, we're out on site. Uh, we've been requested from a customer who wanted to upgrade with the standard draw pin hitch and a standard wide bucket and wanted to fit our new mini tilt. So we thought we'd take the opportunity to showcase how easy it is to fit up by doing it on site. Step one, we're gonna remove the old hitch and bucket off the machine. Step two, we're gonna fit the new mini tilt to the machine. Step three, we're gonna prep and tack weld the valve bracket to the machine. Step four, we'll mount the valve. Step five, we'll plumb up the four hoses. Step six, we'll test it. So to complete this job on site, all we require is a punch, soft hammer, an Allen key set. For this particular machine, we need a 27, a 19, and a 17 mil spanner. And of course a welder to weld the bracket on. First step, we're gonna remove the hitch pins. For the next step, we're gonna punch the pins out. Once the pins are removed, we can remove the old hitch and now start fitting the new mini tool. The mini tool comes with greasable hardened pins, which you need to remove before fitting it to the machine. Next step, we're gonna lower the H-link into the mini tool and we're gonna fit the pin through. Down, yep. Go down a bit, hold it there. Now that the pins are mounted, we're gonna fit the bolts. And tighten them up, ready for the next step. For the next step, we've got the valve bracket, which we need to mount to the boom. First, we need to remove some of the paint, ready to weld the bracket on to the boom. On this particular machine, the bracket sits on the boom like so. And we'll just do a st small stitch weld on each side of the bracket. Before you do any welding, be sure to isolate the battery on the machine first. So what I've done is I've tack welded the bracket in place, uh, mounted the valve, uh, loosely fitted the, fitted the hoses, and this, um, the tap, just to make sure everything's gonna line up um, before we go ahead and fully weld the bracket in place. Now we're gonna mount the valve to the bracket, which has been welded to the boom. What we've done is we've removed the original QRC from this side of the boom um, and we've put a swivel fitting into it um, which we will now mount the tap, freeway tap, like so. We're going to remove the caps from the outside of the cylinders, remove the bung from the cylinder, now we're going to fit the quarter inch fittings into the outside ports of the cylinder. The reason why we've got um, two ports here is simply so you don't have a left and a right. Next step we've got our longer hose of the four and we're going to fit it to this side of the valve. And the bottom of the hose will fit into the mini tilt cylinder. Now repeat that step for the other side. We're removing the original QRCs from the side of the boom.
Now we've fitted the um, male to female adapter, we can now fit the valve. Now with the short hose, we're fitting it to the valve um, and then it goes to the top of the tap, like so. Once all the hoses are fitted um, in place correctly, proceed to nip the hoses up. Now that the tap and the hoses are fitted, last step for this side is to fit the QRCs. Now we've completed this side, we'll follow the same steps for the opposite side. Now we've got all the hoses and the valve fitted, go through and check all the hoses are tight and then it'll be ready to go and test it out. Oh! So today we've shown you the easy process on how to fit a mini tilt on site. For any further information, go to our website. And that's all from me today. Cheers.